Welcome Aquarius and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message around your twin flame. Week commencing Monday the 28th of September through to Sunday the 4th of October 2020. I've already pulled your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom cards and let's just get straight into them. Your first crowning message is karmic partner. The second is crossroads. And the third is the answer is no. Okay, Aquarius. Um, I suppose there is no mincing um, this crowning message. I feel that you may be in a false twin flame and I feel that you are at a crossroads as to questioning and asking, asking yourself if this really is your tr true twin flame and I feel that the person that you are with right now is a karmic partner. It's somebody that as part of your soul journey with your twin flame is to walk away from this karmic partner. I feel that that's what this crossroads is. As this is specifically a twin flame um, message for Aquarius, Aquarius, I feel that you may have just recently come into contact with your actual true twin flame which is why i feel that you are at this crossroads and you may be asking yourself if the person you're currently with is is truly your twin flame i feel aquarius your i mean your main card your major arcana for you is the star and this is all about you just know Aquarius, you, you just know stuff. You are extremely intelligent. And I think on an intuitive level, either you've met somebody that has really sparked your attention and it's making you question the relationship that you're in right now. And I feel that you're being guided to say, to, I, I feel that you're being guided to listen to what your in, in, intuition is telling you because it's not going to put you on the wrong path I think with this card here the answer is no I feel that the answer to your question regarding the person that you're with I feel you're being told that they are not your twin flame it may be a false twin flame um, but that's at the cross that's the crossroads that you are at and it's for you to apply that discernment as to whether or not you you are resonating with the crowning message. For your crowning wisdom message, you have 2211. Visions in your third eye are coming in the form of telepathic waves from your twin flame. Then you have 888 karmic cycles are now coming to a close allow all parties to absorb the necessary lessons for growth and finally you have 747 begin to take your talents to the next level your dream job can become a main source of income i feel aquarius that this karmic partner that you may be involved with at the moment is coming to an end which is why I feel that you are at this crossroads. Your intuition is just telling you that this connection isn't, isn't a true twin flame. And I feel that spirit is letting you know that you are correct. That this person is a karmic partner. And it's time to look out for the synchronicities with the numbers if 888 is a number that resonates for you, then it's just letting you know that this karmic partnership is coming to an end and just allow each party to absorb the necessary lessons, including yourself, Aquarius. I feel that 
what's triggered this is that you have come into contact with your true twin flame and through that i feel that you've gone you you are going through an awakening or you're going through an awakening or you've gone through an awakening sorry um that has opened up your third eye chakra which which i feel is that is where your whole telepathy and your intelligence of just knowing stuff is coming into play and it's really being birthed so you may be communicating with the person that you may suspect is this a soulmate is this a twin flame actually um they are probably your twin flame and this person that you are with right now is a karmic partner Okay, let's get some more. Um, let's get some more cards, Aquarius, because I feel like this message was just so plain as day, um, and intuitively, I just feel that the person that you are with right now, or the yeah, the person that you are with right now is is not your true twin flame, um, but it's a partnership that you needed to encounter and go through in order to recognize who your twin flame is it's part of your growth and i feel that as you're coming to the end of this karmic partnership that's where your twin flame has has entered your your life or they are about to putting you at that crossroads and you are going to be asking your question, is the person I'm with my twin flame or this person that I've just met my twin flame? And I feel spirit is trying to let you know that the karmic partner is not your twin flame. So let's just get into the cards. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the twin flames of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them? in love for week commencing monday the 28th of september through to sunday the 4th of october 2020 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards aquarius that we're allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all as above so below and all around us thank you okay aquarius all right how does the twin flames of aquarius thank you action wow okay mask action right straight away i'm just feeling like the mask is coming down of this karmic partnership and Aquarius, you need to take action. Um, yeah, because I feel that you've now, you're now beginning to see who your twin flame is. It could be a very brief meeting, but I feel that you need to take the action or they are gonna take the action towards you. Okay, whoops. Okay, that's far too many. I'm not going to take all of those. Okay. How does the twin flames of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus feel towards them in love that we're allowed to see? Is that three? Okay, I'm going to take those. Okay. So we have forgiveness, free will, devotion. Okay, Aquarius. I feel that the person that you are connecting to, I feel there are two, two parties involved or this is a, a third party situation. It may not be like a full blown third party situation, I feel that Aquarius, that you are in a, situ a situation at the moment that is, it's a karmic cycle. I feel that the mask is coming off 
of that karmic cycle or the mask is coming off of the person that you are going towards in terms of a, a twin flame connection. I feel that it could be somebody new. I feel that they are going to take action towards you or they want to. You may be, you may have been involved with this person um, before um, or, you know, as you are the star Aquarius, um, which represents not only your star sign, your zodiac sign, but also it does represent past life experiences, um, past life commitments, devotion. And I feel that whatever the situation is with your karmic, I feel that there is a certain amount of forgiveness that they have towards you you have towards them do you know what i i just i i feel that aquarius this particular reading is really all about you i feel the mask has come off with this karmic partnership that you need to take the action as to which which road you're going to take are you going to go towards the person that you feel is your twin flame or potentially could be your twin flame or do you need to take the action to close the door on this karmic partnership so that your twin flame can come in if that is the case then i feel that you're being called to forgive remembering that you do have free will and as you go through that process of healing, forgiveness, making the right choice for yourself, it may be time for you to go into meditation, um, go into reflective, you know, step back from a situation before you even enter into another relationship. Maybe with the wisdom card of 747 coming up, asking you to take your talents to the next level, you may be advised to devote yourself to something that you are passionate about and that you love. Forgiving this karmic cycle, allowing yourself to heal, to restore in readiness for your twin flame to come in. I feel that with the 2211 card as your um, crowning wisdom message, I do feel that you've, you've got an inkling of who this twin flame is. It could be just that deep, deep feeling that you know this person on, on a soul level and therefore you may be communicating with them telepathically you may not even have spoken to this person but your free will i feel is calling you to forgive the karmic partnership allow it to come to its close allowing each party to absorb the lessons that they need to learn i feel you're being guided to use your free will to hone in your talents because actually that will be something that you can devote your time to. It will be something that is passionate, rewarding, and it may provide another source of income. So I feel, um, Aquarius, that this um, twin flame message is really about you, Um and the crossroads that you are at at this time. So let's get some clarification. Please, can you clarify? Thank you. Okay, so you've got the Ace of Coins under mask. So I feel that whatever's been unmasked with this um, karmic cycle, or whether or not you are unmasking your true um, uh, twin flame, whatever it is, it's something solid, grounded. It may 
relate to work or finances. So you could be meeting your true twin flame in a work setting once you harness your skills and talents to the next level. But whether or not this is closing out the cycle, it is it is solid, it's abundant, it's going to, it's going to stabilise you. Whether or not it is unmasking who your true twin flame is, again, it's going to be solid, abundant, grounded, stable. And there will be celebration with the Three of Cups. We have the world and we have the Four of Wands. So I feel whatever is being unmasked in this situation, um, Aquarius, it is, it is for the best. It is for your highest good and it is part of your journey. And I feel that the action that you will take, whether or not it's enhancing and embracing your talents, to do with your finances, which is where you may actually meet your twin flame, or whether or not the action that you take is to close down this karmic partnership and take the learning, go away, forgive, and allow yourself to heal is going to bring in a new cycle because whoever this twin flame, this new person coming in, or this person that you may suspect have an inkling, they do see you as marriage material. Thank you. Yeah, there are some confusions and misunderstandings, I feel. I feel with this karmic partner, it could also be with your actual twin flame which does require some sort of um, forgiveness because you are their happy ever after. I feel that with the emperor covering free will, it's, it's time for you to take the lead, uh, Aquarius. You need to step into your power. I feel that you are being reminded here that you have the free will to take the action that you need to take and devote your time to something that is going to take you to that next level, whether it's to do with finances, whether it's to do with um, relationships, spiritual journey, life journey. And yeah, with the chariot card, it's up to you. I feel that this is a very victorious, um, this is very victorious. Somebody may want to rush in using their free will, taking the lead. It could be you taking the lead, using your free will to rush in and close out this karmic cycle. I feel that the potential of the new twin flame that's coming in is somebody that is going to be solid, somebody that is going to be stable, abundant, but it's going to be slow and they will be using their intuition and they will be devoted to you, 100%. If this is just for you, Aquarius, I feel that whatever you de devote your time with your talents, that it's, it's gonna be really abundant and stable. It's gonna be slow and steady, but your intuition, your, your guidance, your spirit guides around you, your angels are going to keep talking to you and, you know, blessing you, I suppose, with that wisdom and knowledge. As you, as the Aquarius, like I said, you guys just know you are extremely intelligent. You know, you are light years ahead of the rest of us, really. There is just some things that you know on a spiritual level, on an intellectual level, on a technology level, you just know. And I feel that by devoting your time to something that you truly love is going to take you to that next level. It's going to be stable. It's going to be slow and steady, but it's going to be abundant. And 
I feel that your intuition will guide you, your spirit guides will guide you. For a new twin flame coming in, as I say, I feel that they, the mask may come down, how they, how they are feeling about you, which is where you want to celebrate, you want to inquire, spend some time, which is where the action card comes in, a new beginning, because they see you as marriage material. I feel that this could be potentially what's for you, um, Aquarius, once you close out this door with this karmic cycle, this karmic partner. Giving forgiveness and whatever misunderstandings around what you thought was your happiness let it go just allow the lessons to grow your soul your spirit your heart and use your free will to take the action that's needed the person that is perhaps your new twin flame um or not new twin flame your true twin flame they may be using their free will to take the lead and rush in because they they want to be devoted to you. They see you as somebody that's solid and stable, intuitive, wise, spiritual. You may need to forgive yourself, Aquarius. This particular um, twin flame message could be interpreted in so many different ways, Aquarius. So I really hope that you take what resonates for you and leave the rest. If you are not in a karmic partnership and you're just thinking, well, I'm not involved with anybody at the moment, I feel then whoever you are thinking about or interested in, the answer is no, they're a karmic partner. You may need to go through the cycle to allow for the learnings to happen because that is what you agreed to on a soul level but that mask will come down and like I say there will be celebration because you will have learned you would have got to that that next stage of your evolution your spiritual journey but the action sits with you let's see what your twin flame wants to say okay my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell us what the twin flames of aquarius sun moon rising and venus would like to say on a soul level that we're allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all As above, so below and all around us. Thank you. Okay, let's have a look what your twin flame on a soul level. Thank you. That's just fallen on the floor. Okay, we have, I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. And that could explain why the mask is coming down. And I feel that this is the new person, not the karmic person, but the new person that has sparked your interest. Or if you're not involved with somebody, it's somebody else. But be mindful that you may have to go through a karmic partnership first. Being apart has been life changing for me. That's really interesting because it's coming in between the action and forgiveness. So it, it's possible that you may know the person that is your true tw twin flame. And it may be only now that it's coming to light. I don't know how I feel anymore. I feel Aquarius that Whatever forgiveness needs to occur either with yourself or the twin flame, your true twin flame, I feel that it really has imbalanced them or imbalanced you to the point where 
you don't know how you feel. And I feel that this is where you're going to have to apply some intuition, but also to take a step back and really determine what you want to do. I feel the comfort here is to know that your twin flame or your true twin flame um, is telepathically speaking to you. You may be aware of it. They may not be aware of it or aware of it. Um, but I feel that as you go through the forgiveness of the karmic cycle that you are in and allow the lessons that need to occur to be learned so that you can grow and develop. I think that's when your true twin flame will come in. But I, I, I feel that they are not far from you at all because you are communicating on a telepathic level. But I, I genuinely think that the person that you're with is somebody that you thought was your true twin flame and actually you're you're being guided you're being guided um that actually the answer is no they're not your twin flame true twin flame and your final message from your true twin flame says i can still feel you okay and for me i feel that this totally resonates with the wisdom card of 2211. I feel that the person that you are connecting with in terms of a twin flame, you may know them. It may be a brief encounter, somebody at work maybe, um, but you are communicating with them on a telepathic level. It could be somebody that you have been involved with before and for whatever reason, you've gone your separate ways. You've now entered into a karmic partnership, which maybe the prior person you were involved with has now, you know, popped up and you're at this crossroads. I feel that you're being strongly urged here that the person that you are actually with right now is not your true twin flame. There's somebody else in the background and I feel that they're letting you know that they can feel you. They can still feel you. As the star card in the tarot, it, it means past life connections. You've lived many, many lives with this person that is your true twin flame. And that's why whether you know them or not on the 3D level, they can still feel you. But I feel that you've got some forgiveness, they've got some forgiveness, you both could be in karmic partnerships and actually the mask is coming down and action needs to be taken on both your parts. As twin flames, we, we mirror our twin flames. So it wouldn't surprise me if that's, that's why you're communicating on a telepathic level because you're actually mirroring each other. Okay, Aquarius, um, that is your twin flame message for week commencing Monday, the 28th of September through to Sunday, the 4th of October, 2020. If this resonates with you, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up or um, subscribe and or subscribe. If not, um, I will see you next week. Don't forget to check out your other uh signs um your moon rising and venus that may give you a broader perspective as well i think that's it aquarius um i'm gonna leave it there i am sending you loads and loads of love peace and light take care bye bye